Hey, Planeswalkers, Mythers here. Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome to today's episode of Top Deck, where we are covering a mono red Emancipation deck. This is about as close as they get to mono red burn in standard for you here today. Now, I appreciate you checking this video out. We do have a lot coming your way, so please feel free to check out the timestamps down below where we're going to talk about the deck strategy and objective. We're going to cover the list. We'll talk about the sideboard and how to sideboard for best of three. We'll play some competitive magic for you in both best of one and best of three and then we'll wrap it all up uh, with some thoughts about the meta and where this deck stands and how we felt and how we played today so uh, with that said planeswalkers before we dive right into the deck strategy here i just want to say thank you as always i appreciate your support so please feel free to subscribe to the channel down over there and additionally like the video if you like it now uh quickly here it is mono red because it is only red it is all mountains that's all you're going to see here today and my favorite crawling Barons, of course, um, but we also are all about, uh, again, traditional burn, but really about fiery emancipation here. So what this card does is it is an enchantment at six. Um, if a source we control would deal damage to a permanent or player, it deals triple that damage instead uh, to permanent or player. Um, so very, very important here. Uh, what this deck really is about is controlling the board. It's got a one for one trade on a lot of items here, minus uh, uh, Shatter Skull Smashing and Storm's Wrath in terms of the board wiper, and then additionally getting a lot of that chip damage in over time with things like uh, good old Relic Robber. Additionally, um, we have the ability to cycle here uh, with Yudaro, and we get uh, Thinning with Solemn uh, Simulacrum. Um, so lots of things that we can do and kind of control the board. Obviously, we got Brash Taunter here as well. Um, so really, really locking down that early game, treating it like a traditional burn deck where you wanna get that damage in the face. Um, so we gotta be careful in terms of how we play. Um, very, very fun, kind of more offensive uh, control deck, not necessarily the defensive kind of control with typical uh, UW uh, Azores control or uh, blue control kind of a thing, but this is more uh, aggressive in that nature. Um, so that is what this deck's about. Um, win conditions, there are a few in here. Um, additionally, we got good old Chandra um, in terms of getting some uh, cards back into our hand in terms of refill. Otherwise, we don't have a lot of opportunity, minus Balakut here, um, to really, really get at um, some of that consistency and hand smoothing as well. Um, so very excited to play this deck, Planeswalkers. I think it's going to do well against kind of the creature-based decks. Um, should do okay kind of in the mid-range. I think the late game uh, decks or control decks could cause a little bit more of a challenge. We do have a couple of key pieces here um, to really play around some of those things, though. So we'll see. Um, we'll see how it does today. I got an initial feeling, but you're going to have to wait and see how we, how we play and get those final thoughts. Um, so that is the strategy and objective of the deck. Now we're going to go ahead and talk about the deck list it is available for you down below in the description additionally the deck link is there if you do have questions or comments throughout please let me know i'm happy to help as always and also feel free to hop on the discord server my friends um so we do have shock here um deals two damage to any target we got spike filled hazard same thing one damage to any target um if a permanent dealt damage this way would die, exile it instead, or it could come in as a tap land because it's one of those models. We do have Blitz of the Thunder Raptor, so this deals damage equal to target creature or planeswalker, equal to the number of instant or sorcery cards in our graveyard. If that creature or planeswalker would die this turn, exile it instead. We have another exile here with Scorching Dragon, fire three damage uh, to target creature or planeswalker, exile it if it dies. Um, we got the Shire Skull Smashing, again, modal land, enters tapped, or we can pay three to have it untapped or um, we can pay the two in X and deal damage between creatures or planeswalkers up to two. And then if X is six or more, double that damage. We have Relic Robber. So this guy's pretty sweet. It's got haste, two, two. Uh, when you deal combat damage to your opponent, um, so this guy you're gonna wanna hold back uh, and make sure you're making the right plays. It will drop a nice little zero one colorless goblin construct on your opponent. Um, and that creature can't block and it will deal one damage to them at the beginning of 
of their upkeep every turn. Um, we got Slain Fire. So this bad boy deals three damage to any target. It's got Adamant, good old uh, uh, Throne of Eldraine uh, mechanic there, where if at least three red mana were spent to cast, it deals four damage instead. We have Valakut Awakening. So this modal land's pretty interesting here. Um, it's an instant. We can put any number of cards from our hand on the bottom of our library. Uh, then we draw that many cards plus one, and then additionally can enter in tapped uh, for that mana. We have good old Storm's Wrath where it deals four damage to each creature and each Planeswalker. So again, we don't have to worry too much because we're not running um, any, anything that we're going to have to worry too much about in terms of wiping our own board. We got Slum Smackrum. Uh, again, the ability to go pull a basic land, enter the battlefield there, shuffle land, their shuffle library, not land. Um, and then when this dies, we may draw a card. Um, Brash Taunter, indestructible. When it deals Whenever this is dealt uh, damage, deals that much damage to target opponent, you can tap it for three and it'll fight another target creature. Um, you hit yourself with this, it's going to deal four damage, you can always target yourself, kind of a thing too with it. Um, then we got Chandra, Heart of Fire. Um, so this legendary Planeswalker does quite a few things. So plus one, we can discard our hand, exile up the three cards from our library until end of turn. Now we may play cards exiled this way, or plus one, we can also deal two damage to any target. And last but not least, our down nine, we can search our graveyard library for any number of red instance and or sorcery uh, cards exile them then shuffle your library you may cast them this turn and add six mana so we can go back and deal a ton of damage to the face um, with this so keep that in mind uh, we covered fiery emancipation then last but not least we have yadaro here um, this dinosaur turtle is a legendary creature <laughs> It's got trample and haste, love it. Uh, we can cycle it for two. If we cycle it four times, um, instead of uh, dropping it into the graveyard and cycling it into our library shuffle, uh, you can drop this bad boy as an 8-8 eight eight coming right to the face. So keep that in mind, very powerful, very fun. Um, so that is the main board, my friends. Let's go ahead and chat about the signboard here. So we got Tormat's Crypt, this guy enters, we sack it, exile all cards from target player's graveyard. We can sack it and remove them from ours as well. So this is what you're gonna wanna play against rogue stacks, you're gonna wanna play this against the mid-range rock dose decks, anything leveraging graveyard, um, Luris decks, those kinds of things, other cycle decks, uh, this is good against as well. We have Cinderclasm. So this guy deals one damage to each creature. If it's kicked, it deals two damage to each creature instead. So you're gonna play this against creature based decks. Um, anything that is, you know, I like it against Cruel Aggro, you can take a low one ones out, you can take the innkeepers out, you can do the two, you're gonna get a lot of stuff there as well. Um, you could run it against rogues if you wanted. Um, lots of interesting spots, also red, you could run this um, on a white, um, those kinds of things. We have Soul Seer. Soul Seer deals five damage to target creature or planeswalker that permanent loses indestructible until end of turn. Uh, great against uh, kind of bigger decks. Um, great against mono green food. Great against uh, gruel aggro. Um, again, planeswalkers decks. Um, this is a good one for uh, good against things like ultimatum decks, those kinds of things. And we have Valka Exploration, so another one here, uh, or sorry, not another one, we have Valka Awakening, Valka Exploration. Um, here, this thing's got landfall, it's an enchantment, whenever it enters, we can exile the top card, we can play it, if not, we'll deal one damage. Um, you're going to want to play this against mid-range to late game decks, and you're going to play it against mid-range decks that aren't so much creature-based, more controlly based these are like Rakdos mid-range, those kinds of things. Um, we got two more Brash Taunters, so coming in at the top end, you're going to play this again against creature-based decks. You want to make sure you get this guy on the board. It isn't a legendary, so we don't have to worry about that rule. Um, and you can just line your board with these guys and ping, 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 ping. Tons of damage like that. So even even works against uh, aggro decks um, as well, so keep that in mind. And then another Fiery Emancipation. I'd run this against mid-range to late game. Um, that's where you're gonna really, really build um, and use these things because you're gonna wanna hold some of these cards back, unfortunately, um, for those particular matches because it can be a little bit more tricky as well as a little bit more tough, uh, depending, on, uh, depending on how that goes. Um, so Planeswalkers, that is the sideboard. We're going to talk about how we pull these two together for best of three now uh, against an aggro mid-range in a late game lineup. So aggro, we kind of talked about the rogues decks already, so I'm not going to cover that one too much. But aggro, uh, things to consider, more creature-based decks, Cinderclasm, Soul Seer, um, potentially Brash Taunter. Um, so let's say four minimum that you're going to be moving out. Um, what you're probably going to look at 
uh, in terms of things that you could that you could move. I actually don't mind moving out some some lacrum here um, at the four drop slot. It is nice to get that get that draw, um, but that's a that's certainly a consideration. We are only running uh, sixteen lands here, so we do need to be a little bit careful because everything that we do have is modal. Um, so that's twenty. 26 uh, with the modals, so just keep that in mind. We just got to be careful. Um, but why I'm saying that is because you're most likely not going to cut those things. Um, where I would look to potentially move things out, um, you know, I like Relic Robber. Um, this might be something worth moving out against an aggro deck. Um, just because they'll probably have something up uh, and you might not be able to attack in with this guy so you may not get as much value however if you do drop storm's wrath and then drop this guy um, a little bit different story uh, but those are some good co uh, considerations the other thing that you could always do is you could always cut out yadaro um, you don't necessarily need that 8-8 eight, eight. Uh, would be lovely and amazing um, but you could definitely trade these guys out as well um, and, and really move uh, towards that aggro lineup so you you got plenty of spots there to kind of consider and move things around you could always go lighter on chandra as well um next we got the mid-range lineup so these are things like selesnia um adventure decks these are things like saltai mid-range it could be uh like the mud artifact stack that we did um lots of ones we did in azorus mid-range a while back um and obviously gruel aggro could potentially be in that space um and uh obviously rakdos mid-range and uh rakdos escape kind of a thing so those are some considerations uh, the way i look at it is creature based versus um non-creature based here um so that's kind of how you're gonna line up if you are playing creature based you probably go soul seer um you could consider valakut exploration uh, brash taunter or fire mass page depending on what you're doing if it's more control based um you may end up going the tormod's crypt valakut and then probably fiery so like four to six here that you could consider um what you may move out is honestly um maybe blitz the, the thunder raptor you're gonna want definitely the face um you may want to move out scorching dragon fire as well um and then you're probably gonna stick in the space depending on what you're doing if they are more creature based you'll keep these things at the front end um, and you'll probably look to move things around between these two um also if they're not creature based storms wrath's a good one um in this kind of space as well the top end here particularly in particularly in the mid-range, I'd probably keep um, with what we have there. Um, so that's what I would do. And then in terms of the last lineup here, we have late game decks. These are things like Esper Doom, uh, Yorian decks. It could be a big red, uh, maybe ultimatum, ultimatum kind of trials at mid-range. Um, also, you know, mono black control, uh, those kinds of things. If you do hit like a mono black control, it's, this is actually not a bad matchup. Um, it's it's going to be more like Azorus control, those kinds of things, or, or hard counters on our more def the defensive control, like I said. Um, it's going to be more problematic for us. Um, but what you're probably going to play is a fiery emancipation, to be honest, and then outside that, um, you're really going to have to decide on, on what it is you're going to play or how it is you're going to play um, and then kind of go from there, to be honest. Um, this is pretty well set up decently against late game. Um, Storm's Wrath is something you'll probably pull out so you can optimize that. Um, you know, but you could throw in the brash taunters and, and, and wipe, try and wipe them with your storm's wrath and do a lot of damage too. Um, so there's lots of fun things that you could do, but I'd probably throw in Valakut uh, Exploration, um, you know, brash taunters, something okay. Uh, but you're going to probably look to optimize what you already have here. Realistically, what you're going to do is you probably look to cut in these, in these kind of spaces there. Um, and then what I would do is probably throw in the Soul Seer for something like a Yorian um, or another Emancipation, those kinds of things. Um, so Planeswalkers, that is what we have going on uh, today with Mono Red Emancipation. We talked about the main board. We talked about the sideboard. We talked about how you're going to board uh, for the aggro, mid-range, and late game lineups for your uh, best of three how-to guide, my friends. Um, again, deck list down below. Questions, comments, let me know. All right, so with that said, let's go ahead here and hop into our competitive magic. Very excited about this. Um, we certainly have had a lot of fun here. We played the John Mutate Landfall deck. You guys can check that one out as well. Uh, yesterday, recently, whatever. Um, but today, we're playing the Mono Red Emancipation deck, my friends. So again, as close as I get to in uh, standard as a Mono Red Burn deck currently. All right, so let's go ahead here. That is best of one. Now that we're playing in competitively, uh, again, we 
we talked about the deck list here. We talked about where it could excel or, or how, where and how we're going to board for a best of three matches. Um, as we're uh, waiting against Bandy here um, or Band, I uh, just want to say thank you, Planeswalkers, as always. I truly appreciate your support, so please feel free to subscribe down over there. Additionally, uh, like the video if you enjoyed it. And other great ways to support support the channel down below uh, in the description you guys can hop in the discord server um, things like that all right so while we're waiting for them to make a decision we're going to decide whether or not we want to keep this i think it's a great start for today but alas let's take this one i like that better um two let's see what we have on the board i'm going to go and keep this um, i'm probably going to dump that for now uh, I actually like this better, so we'll go from we'll go with that. And we are off. So we got early game protection. We got a relic robber we can drop. Um, we're certainly going to try and play more of the pass. Ooh, there we go. More of the pass go today. Um, I will. I'm actually going to play this first. I'll hold that up. That's me being like early greedy kind of. You can always shock herself if we need to. Looks like an is it deck. Oh boy. Okay. Uh-oh, what did they pull? What are you going to play? Ooh, Jess guy. I don't know about this one. This could be... Oh boy, another one. I did not want to get countered on the Relic Robber. That's why I didn't play that. Um, this could be a Transmog deck too. We'll find out though. No, and it's all going quick. So this I can deal with here. So I'll take that off the board. It's too bad we didn't hit curve. Um, would have been really nice. We could still hit curve. I want to get this guy on though. And get the ping damage going. Now if they have transmog though. That was a huge mistake. <gasps> oh, that's fine. I can deal with that. So we do have this. I could play... Let's see if we can get this guy on the board. See, here's the counters, maybe. On our red. Now, I will go to 6. Because I can get Fiery Emancipation on the board. So we'll see. Alright. So we got it on the board. Boom, look at that. Now I like that graphic. Um, we have a few things we can do here. So we'll just have to see. The life gain is going to be a killer. But what we can do, though, is we can keep it locked down. Um, we can keep it locked down on their turn. Uh, 
Oh, they didn't do it. Mm. So what's that give me? This still gives me two. This is what I want. Let's see if they have a counter. Seven. We have seven. Let's. I'll think about that. Might keep them back one here. Eh. We'll thin. Actually, let's thin. Be three damage. So not quite enough yet. <clears throat> not quite enough. Um, so next turn, if we get enough damage through, we can hit him with slain fire, um, and that will actually be lethal. Uh, four twelve. So, it'll be really on task here. We'll hit him again. Let's see what we can draw. If they don't block Solemn or Taunter, we're good. Oh. This is awesome. <laughs> Boom! Oh, that was good. That was good. That was good, my friends. Oh, huge, huge damage. And that is why you wait and wait. I finally was patient enough on the offensive mono red emancipation. That was that was great. So that in a nutshell, my friends, is how that deck works. So 
Um, they, their controlly type jazz guy was not uh, the full control kind. Um, it was more so around kind of locking things down, uh, which played well for us here. So now I need to consider um, if I want to keep this one, uh, it's going to be tricky here. I will keep it because I do have the two. Um, and the other problem with this deck is we are running very tight on land, so we have to be very careful. Um, good news is we're going to be very careful here. This time, though, we have to take that off. Now we're at three. I need to get that selfless savior off the board. Um, so that's going to be a little bit tricky. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Angel of Destiny. I like it. I do like it. Um, we can wipe the board. Well, we won't get Angel of Destiny, actually. Um... Luminous Broodmoth. Look at that. Ooh, they exiled it, though. Ooh, I don't know about that one. Shoot, the smarter play would have been wipe it first and then do it.
dun dun dun. There you go. Yeah, we were having problems with that one. Couldn't connect in the way that we wanted to. Probably could have played that a little bit differently. We should have, what we should have done is done the board wipe um, and then crack the Lurus, and we probably would have been okay there. A um, little bit more tricky play interaction. That is the mono white kind of mid rangey deck, actually. I'm glad to see that Angel. I actually played around with that myself uh, a little bit. Um, very, very hard. Um, there to get a lot of that stuff off the board when it keeps bouncing around like that. So you guys, that is a hard, hard deck to beat. Mono White being a tier one already and best of one anyway. Um, so we could have got it though. I feel like there was that one interaction there that I missed and that cost me the game, but that is certainly how it goes. <laughs> All right, Winter Void is up. Um, we can keep this because we have Yadaro and two lands. Um, I'm not gonna get any value off those early, so we gotta be careful here. If we get to four though, we'll be okay. Uh, we got a Hagra. All right, we get Relic Robber in. We're gonna have some fun. All right, so we certainly can get something in here. Ooh, there we go. Oh, that would have been so nice to have two of those off the bat. Would have been a lot of little pings. Let's see what they take here. I'm not even going to play the Storm's Wrath now. Oh, they had another one. Oh. Hopefully we just slow death here, but we'll find out. Losing Chandra's hurt. That hurts. Help them out there. I'm doing that to take a risk on Relic Robber. Ah. We'll do it again. We could wait for them to attack in, by the way. This is certainly going to be an Ugin deck. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, look at that. Here's Ugin. There's you again. An opportunity to address Ghost Fire. My greatest creation. Ah, 
Lots of bomber. Rear greater. No. Oh. So this was the matchup that I was hoping to hit, and of course, we still cannot close it. <laughs> oh well, my friends, that is how it goes. We're going to run into some issues here. We got we had a little problem on the land base, but that's all right. Certainly fun. I think we got two Yadaros too, so it could could hit that. Um, it's not going to be enough there. And that's only three, so we don't have the three, three reds. We'll see if they go minus 10. Adamant. We'll see if we can fear him into doing something here. I don't think it's going to happen, but I don't think we have anything that deals five either. All they need to do is hit me with Fielder Ruin, too. We'll let them play it out. Oh, that's real early. Oh, they're good. <laughs> All right, so one in two in best of one. So we we took down a nice deck first match, second match. I think it was mono red. Second match. Now um, I'll have to go back and look. <laughs> second match. It was a mono white mid range. Third match mono black control. That third match would have been the one I would have said that we should, definitely should have won. Um, again, couple couple issues there with the cards that we had, mana base and lineup. But um, so far, really enjoy it. The first match, we definitely hit Emancipation. Super, super nice uh, blowout. Oh, it was Jeskai. It was Jeskai deck control, not mono red, sorry. Um, that's what it was. All right, so let's go ahead now and play our traditional stand ranked here for best of three. There's that Jund uh, Mutate Landfall deck you guys should check out. Um, um, here is the mono red emancipation deck. All right, let's go ahead here. 
Um, so for those of you that are joining now, just checking out the best of three stuff, the best one, we went one and two, we beat a Jeskai control deck, uh, lost to a mono white life gain mid range type deck, and then lost to a mono black uh, control deck, which I thought would have been the best matchup, but now uh, we just did not have the right stuff. Um, we will play first here. Um, I will keep this because we have a few things. Um, now, additionally, Planeswalkers, uh, as always, if you got questions or comments, let me know down below here to help. Um, also, appreciate your support, so please feel free to subscribe down over there and additionally like the video if you like it. Um, let's see what we got going on. All right, so we can live with that. So that was one of the problems actually for our uh, mono black deck that we ran into. Let's take that off the board. We will play the Blitz. But if we can get it, Fire Emancipation down, that'll be nice. All right. While we're waiting here against Chimera Flint, um, other great ways to support the channel down below in the uh, description. All right. I'm actually going to save it. Not going to waste it. I'm going to save that. I can maybe get to Emancipation. We'll find out. I don't know, though. It'll be close. It's still slow. I think we do this. Go plus one. We need to do this to draw distraction. Draw distraction, my friends. Oh, do I want to be greedy? I kind of want to be greedy. I kind of really want to be greedy here. Oh, uh, I'm going to do it. We're going to be greedy. It's not going to take much for them to give me lethal, but if, if we get this and wipe the board, uh, it'll be pretty fun. So we'll see. We will see. Here's Cleve. Cleve will do it. Cleve would have done it. Ah, there we go. So we could have we could have tried to delay one. We would have been okay. Oh, oh, I got too greedy. That's all right. We'll try. We'll try it again. Um, so for this particular lineup, now we want to run Soul Seer. We want to run. Uh, I don't mind those. I'll go less on these. I do like the thinning though. Um, these are fine. We'll go down there. We'll drop the relic robbers. Um, they're not going to be as good here. These will run. Um, and what else do I want to run here? Maybe we run like two of these guys. We'll go. three of those that's fine i'm okay with this lineup i'm okay with that relic's not going to do a whole lot for us here 
we have to wipe the board and keep pinging. Um, our, our biggest issue is going to be Great Henge anyway. Um, uh, I could have, I could have, should have, would have. We'll play first. There we go. We'll keep this. Could have, should have, would have. Ah. Too much greed. I knew they had a cleave. Come on. We, we always know that they have a cleave. Come on. Whenever you don't have it, they, of course, have it. That is the rule of magic. That is the rule of law. You don't have it. They have it. Yeah, we're getting rid of you. Sorry, guy. Ooh, double Yodaro. Not even gonna wait. Actually, at instant, let's see what they apply first. So double Yadaro. So next turn, we're gonna get an 8 8 trampler. Yes! We will take it. We will take it. Can I get a land? There we go. Give me another land. Yes, yes. I like it. I like it. Fiery emancipation on Godzilla. Ooh. Oh, they're going for it. They're going for it. If they have a fight, they don't have a fight. Oh, this is going to be so much fun. I think that's game. I think. I think it's game. Woo! Boom! <laughs> Yadaro emancipation. <laughs> that that was pretty sweet. That was that was pretty sweet. Now I'm like, first game should have played it instead of being too like, meh, let's let's take let's roll the dice. But that's that was pretty cool. So very very happy to be doing that let's see if we can uh we can do it on the draw this turn oh ooh, ooh, ooh. i'm gonna hang on to it even though we have one left. i'm gonna do it we're gonna try it if i get yudaro going i got this board wiping many many to one uh we'll see here i'm gonna take a few things out Give me a nice land top deck, please, please, please. Oh, the pain. What do I want to discard here? I'm going to get rid of this.
There we go. Chimera Flint, we have a chance. We have a chance. Now I wish I had the Exile card here. Well, there we go. There you are. All right, good game. We'll go to the next one. We are not even gonna let them play it out because we know they got it. They they cleaved us. All right, on to our next best of three. So pretty sweet though that second lineup. Um, the mana base here is still one of those things that's kind of bothering me just a little bit with the flood. Um, we're not drawing well. Uh, and it's creating some problems. So let's go ahead here though. But when it works, it works. Um, I would honestly, I would probably add a couple lands in. I would probably change a few things up uh, on that. But other than that, you know, I really, really like this deck. It's got some cool interactions. Uh, the Yadaro Emancipation was just boom. That was pretty sweet. So um, let's see here. So we went one and two and best of one and split the first best of three um let's see what we can do here with uh this this matchup here all right if we ever hit the queue my friends while we're waiting always a nice little plug appreciate the support feel free to sub please all right elite s'more it is elite elite s'more or elite s'more i don't know you tell me it's a good thing we are kind of stuck at Diamond right now. <laughs> By the way, I did, I did, I did hit it. So um, we'll keep this. We'll decide on our turn two um, if we're going to play that. So I would like to cycle Godzilla. Ooh, what do we got? Abzan. We got an Abzan deck. Abzan deck. Maybe I will do this first. We have an Abzan deck. So this could be a number of things. Good thing we have Exile. We got some Storm's Wraths. Got some Relic Robbers. Elite more or Elite Schmore. Gonna have too much fun with that one today. All right, so we will do this. We'll wait. We're going to be patient this time. We will be patient in case we need to hit something here. Oh, is it a Doom deck? There we go. Nice. If it is a Doom deck, though, Relic Robber does not help us. Oh, ooh. Ooh, I like that. I like it, my friends. And good news is we can play Valakut. We got Solemn Simulacrum. Just don't drop a Doom Foretold, my friend. Play something else. That's good in my book. That was something else. You did a nice job. All 
All right, now we got that thinning going. We're close on emancipation. One, two, three, four, five. Ideally, I'd like to hit a land. Two, three, four. Certainly, that. Um, we'll try that. Four plus two. Not bad, I like it. I like it. I think I've actually seen this deck. Oh! That one hurts. So we're going to do this. The wipe. They got one guy they can bring back there. Hmm, I already had one. One, two, three, four. So I think I can clip both of these. I'm 
draw a card. Oh, no, the beast. So I think I need to play all this out here. So I think it's three there. That gives me six on him. And then those two. So that's, I think we're close. Two, one, two, four, five, six, seven. I have seven. We're good. I'll get, I'll get through it here. Let's see what Elite S'more does. They could kill their own guy, so it doesn't go into exile. We'll see, though. We don't have much to deal with the henge. It's too bad. It's an eerie ultimatum deck. All right. Let's see, do we try and clock him? Are we doing on time? 26, we could try. We'll see. Oh boy. This is gonna be a hard deck for us to beat. A hard deck to beat. It has got too many big creatures. And we can't get that off the board. So let's see what we can do here in our sideboarding. Eat the clock. Should always play that way. Um, always, always play it out. Uh, I just know that when we do run into games that aren't going to be as efficient, then then we then we go out. But we still got a chance here in the second one. This is going to be a, a tough match. Uh, if they go ten minutes on the first one, you guys watch the MQ on where the guy took forever. Uh, but they were playing a control deck. So we're going to have a lot of issues with these two. Um, good news is we can play this. This is going to get hit. Uh, feel like we add these. Like three of those. These are still good. I don't think Storm Wrath is as good now. 
I think we can go Brash. I think you want Soul Sears probably. I need another fiery. We go less there. Let's go two on math. Let's try this. Then I'm going to be quick though. We do that. All right, we'll try that. This is a tough, tough, tough match. I mean, we exiled a ton of stuff, which puts their deck at, it, it can't use as much as it normally would. Um, but even with that said, this is, this is a tough one. So we'll go here, maybe shatter. Maybe shatter, we'll get rid of this. Crawling Barons could do it for us though. That that could be the that could be the card. I'm gonna go slower here. Ah. So now we gotta deal with something I don't want to deal with. get one land and get Chandra on there. That's going to be big for us. Now we're only running two of the Tormods, so we're going to be careful there. We have plenty that can hit Relic Robber. Oh. So we wait as we'll make Barons bigger. Yadaro. Let's get that land. There we go.
There's Gargaroth. I will actually block um, the Gargaroth here, I think. Because then I can I can play Emancipation and kill, kill that Gargaroth. Unless I have a Mythos of Nethroi. Well, they have the Great Henge, so they can. That's one of the tap things they can play. So we'll see. There we go. Now, these aren't going to deal three. Still one, because our opponents control it. But now we have close to lethal. Um, we could play Chandra. We could play Chandra into a Chandra. They have here. Now, it's not going to be enough, though. Which is a bummer. Huge bummer. We can hit Gargaroth though with Scorching, and we can hit Meyer Triton. Alright, they're at 15, 16. Shoot. Oh, I hate that plus one. <laughs> that was not supposed to happen. That, that drives me nuts. Usually the damage one's on top. Oh, like Ugin. I think Ugin's on top. I think it's on top. Oh, I could cry. Because we had that. We had that really nicely. And now we're in a really bad spot. If they take Chandra off the board, we're going to be in a really bad spot. Which is what just happened. Oh, no, they took the Emancipation. I can live with that. I can live with that. That I can't live with, though. All because of my wonderful, wonderful misplay there. Four, four. Right. 
bring this back. They're gonna have a creature. Oh, no, they don't, huh? I'm just hesitant on the barons because I feel like they have a kill spell there. Um, you know, it wasn't lethal. It could have got it to 10. It would have been 12. That might have killed them. But we'll see here. here so any big creatures now we can hit with brash um they can't destroy it i would have to sack it I can bring Drana back. No, we still have our Crawling Barons. So we'll see. you say nice because I know you have a bunch of stuff that's the way it works and you almost clocked out if we would have made it to another game you probably would have elites more oh here we go
Uh oh. That would be something if we came back. Would be something. How many cards they got left? 17. They've almost gone through their entire deck. Oh, and we're only playing a burn deck, my friends. Come on. Oh. You have plenty of time still to beat me. You go to game three, though, you're going to clock out. So you got to win this one. Elites more. <laughs> All right, so let's see what you're going to do here. Uh-oh. One time I'll use. You might have ran into the restroom. So let's see how much how much time do we have? Twenty minutes. You've used twice as much time. Granted, a, a burn deck is a little bit faster. Oh, you're back. You're clicking stuff. All right, so you made it back. I was I was severely concerned. Um, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we got eleven. So we can pay seven. Here and here. Um how doublets. Let's do one. Let's go eight just to be safe. You have a kill spell. Don't even tell me that. Don't even say that. I still am here, my friend. I will laugh if you can't beat me in eight minutes. You certainly should be able to. And if you pain me and drag me and rope me for the next 10 minutes, It's going to be great. You had a legendary. You could have brought that back. Yep, Bane Slayer. I will laugh if I get another one of those and crush all your guys. Because that would be pretty funny. You do have lethal right now. And a full hand of cards. Because of your lovely, lovely thing i will do this and say boom <laughs> good game. all right good game my friends nice well played with your ultimate eerie ultimatum deck um i will give you this death toucher back you can draw your cards and mill that would have been pretty good if we would have almost almost drew you out too so Almost ran out of time, almost drew you out, and you certainly used twice as much.
Elite S'more, good match, a lot of fun, uh, appreciate it. Um, and we're sitting right at Diamond Tier 4 still. So for today, my friends, uh, fun deck. We did some cool things with Emancipation. We did uh, Clock One to the face for a lot of damage, and we did a Yodaro to the face for a lot of damage. Um, we ended up, let's go here, check out the deck. Um, so we ended up in our best of three match, winning one match, losing two. Uh, we did win the first one and lost the next two. And then in best of three, we did split the first one. Um, could have certainly, I think, turned that turned that around. You know, that first match, I got a little greedy. Uh, but that, that is how it goes. So um, overall, this deck, um, I like it. It excels more against some of the creature-based type decks. Um, you know, you got to make sure that you're still dealing that damage to the face and protect your board. There still is way too much out there. Um, to remove some of your stuff at the higher end. We saw that with the Abzan Ultimatum deck. Um, you can still get gunned down pretty fast, like we saw with the Gruul deck, um, and then obviously some of the other ones that we, we did play today. Um, the mana base can be tricky because we don't have, we're only running 16, and we got a lot of these other things going on here. Um, but with that said, super fun. Again, it's close to a, a true kind of standard mono red burn um, that we get. We get some damage over time. We get a lot of other things really about kind of controlling the match um would be better if there was more to the face that we could we could do um once you do get emancipation down or fire emancipation all this other stuff uh really really helps um we do have some of those things there but we just didn't quite uh didn't quite connect in all our matches today uh, just a little bit of inconsistency so to talk about where this kind of fits in the meta um you know honestly in terms of best of one Again, probably, I would say at most, uh, middle of tier two, certainly top of, of tier three. Um, and then in terms of best of one, I would probably, you know, our best of three matches weren't that great. Um, you know, fun deck still. We did have some challenges. It's going to really depend on what you're playing. I, I would say probably again very very at most middle of tier two probably more so bottom of tier two and then top of tier three kind of a thing um but that it's certainly a lot of fun i really enjoyed it um he connected a lot here i i think part of the problem too is if you don't have that mana and you're not getting to these five drops and four drops and kind of hitting like we saw on on curve uh, just create some of those additional additional challenges um and you could certainly change some things up here on the sideboard if you wanted to as well um as as we kind of talk through some of these things um certainly slain fire is nice you know you could always add the blitzes some additional blitzes on the side the other one i would consider in this deck uh that we didn't that i didn't talk about at the beginning is the two <laughs> Two drop, three damage, where you can cycle a card, um, take one on your hand and, and look uh, or draw one. I would actually consider moving that one in here too. Um, and then any other cards, you know, even more shocks to be honest, just because that damage to the face is so powerful um, in this particular deck. Um, the other thing that you could throw in here that would be pretty nutty would be a Torbran. <laughs> <laughs> you get one of those guys in here and you get all these other things cracking off and be pretty nasty. So um, the a tour brand with fiery emancipation, imagine that pretty, pretty crazy. So um, really, really enjoy the deck. So again, planeswalkers, we talked about the strategy, Jack, we, we covered the list. We played some matches, not the most successful today, but certainly had fun losing nonetheless gonna have fun losing um and then additionally um you know talks about where this kind of fits the meta for both best of one best of three you know tier mid tier two bottom tier two really um and probably top of tier three so um planes work walkers with that said as always huge thank you truly appreciate your support please feel free to subscribe down over there additionally like the video if you like it you can like me on facebook follow me on twitter and twitch stay up to date on content like this um until next time planes walkers you guys stay safe appreciate the support as always Always great ways to connect uh, down below in the description and support the channel. I uh, look forward to seeing you again soon. A um, lot more coming your way as we close out, uh, making it towards our 100 decks here for Santa Cars. I can't, I can't believe it. So um, we'll see you guys soon. Take care, Mithras. Out.